On the 1st of November 2005, the United Nations General Assembly unanimously called for the establishment of the Holocaust and the United Nations Outreach Program. The resolution states that the Holocaust, which resulted in the murder of one-third of the Jewish people, along with countless members of other minorities, will forever be a warning of the dangers of hatred, bigotry, racism, and prejudice. In the words of the Charter, affirming the dignity and worth of the human person has been at the core of the United Nations mandate for the past 70 years, reflecting how deeply the organization was shaped by the Holocaust. The General Assembly further underscored its commitment to the victims and survivors of the Holocaust when it adopted a resolution rejecting Holocaust denial. Over the past 10 years, the program has developed a global network of partners and a varied and wide-reaching initiative that encourages Holocaust remembrance and education to help to prevent genocide. The UN Holocaust Outreach Program works closely with Holocaust survivors to ensure that their stories are heard. In all of its activities, particularly with students and educators, the program draws crucial links between the underlying causes of genocide and the promotion of human rights today. In the words of United Nations Secretary General Ban Ki-moon, Combating hatred is among the cardinal missions of the United Nations. For the past decade, the Holocaust and the United Nations Outreach Program has been working with teachers and students on all continents to warn about the consequences of anti-Semitism and other forms of prejudice and to promote universal values. The Holocaust Remembrance Resolution also designated the 27th of January as the International Day of Commemoration in Memory of the Victims of the Holocaust. This day marks the liberation of the Nazi concentration death camp Auschwitz-Birkenau just before the end of the Second World War in 1945. In 2013, the Secretary General and Mrs. Bahn paid tribute to the liberators and victims of the Holocaust during a visit to the former camp. In 2006, the program held the first Holocaust memorial ceremony and lecture in observance of Holocaust Remembrance Day in the General Assembly Hall at New York headquarters. Every year since then, prominent speakers of these ceremonies have included Holocaust survivors, academics, artists, and other public figures. The keynote speaker at the 2014 observance was Academy Award-winning director Steven Spielberg. Survivors of horror often express an undaunted, undamaged optimism, and there's nothing I know about human beings more marvelous and beautiful than this capacity to transform rage and grief into a wellspring of wisdom, progress, and justice. These ceremonies are enhanced by a series of related events organized by the program at United Nations headquarters in New York. Both popular and documentary films are screened on topics such as the psychological and social impact of the Holocaust on the victims, resistance, and rescue. To examine this history and its relevance today, the program also partners with a number of non-governmental organizations and intergovernmental groups, including the International Holocaust Remembrance Alliance. Dynamic exhibitions held in the visitors' lobby at United Nations headquarters in New York are a visible achievement of the program's partnerships with member states and civil society groups, from Memorial de la Shoah to the March of the Living and the Documentation and Cultural Center of German Sinti and Roma. The program also created a permanent exhibit on the Holocaust for the United Nations Guided Tours route. Since its opening in 2008, it has been seen by more than 2 million visitors to United Nations headquarters in New York. Among the UN Holocaust Outreach Program's most enduring contributions are its educational publications produced in all six official United Nations languages, teacher training opportunities, and social media campaigns. The Footprints for Hope DVD and educational package produced with the UK Holocaust Center and the University of London reaches children between the ages of 11 and 14 years. The Last Flight of Peter Ginn Study Guide, produced with the International School for Holocaust Studies at Yad Vashem, the Holocaust Martyrs and Heroes Remembrance Authority, reaches young people 13 years and older. It serves as a companion to the animated documentary film 
produced by filmmakers at Wake Forest University and the University of Florida. A second publication for this age group was developed with Yad Vashem on women and the Holocaust. Its companion DVD includes survivor testimony provided by the University of Southern California's Shoah Foundation Institute for Visual History and Education. The program engages university students with its discussion papers journal. This publication includes articles drafted by scholars around the world on Holocaust education, ethics, democracy, and genocide prevention, among other topics. Most recently, the program partnered with the United States Holocaust Memorial Museum to make the museum's film The Path to Nazi Genocide and educational materials available in multiple languages to educators around the world. The UN Holocaust Outreach Program also raises awareness of the historic factors that can lead to genocide and the development of international laws that serve as a deterrent to it. To involve young people in this process, the program organized the first ever Model UN on the Holocaust and Genocide Prevention at the Bronx High School of Science in New York in June 2014. Another important milestone was the 65th anniversary of the Genocide Convention, with the participation of the Deputy Secretary General and experts in the field of international justice. When first established, the program raised the funds to hold four week-long regional training programs to give United Nations Information Center staff around the world the tools they would need to organize meaningful and effective Holocaust remembrance and educational events in their countries. In 2014, more than 140 activities were organized by United Nations Information Centers in 42 countries. The program continues to bring the lessons of the Holocaust to new generations. I thank the Holocaust survivors, member states, and many other partners that have supported this vitally important effort to prevent the genocide and uphold human dignity for all.